Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare. Today we're doing the Gosling's Rum Dark Passion Cocktail. This is actually a cocktail I designed for them. Its basis is a tiki style drink. You're obviously, you're going to have alcohol with a lot of fruit juice. It's going to help balance out the flavor and hide a lot of that potency. But it's going to be very flavorful. This is actually... Primary ingredient is going to be the Black Seal Rum topped with the 151 of also Black Seal. So there's a lot of Black Seal Rum in this drink. It's very flavorful. Let's show you how it's made. This is actually going to be a shaken strain. So obviously, you take your shaker, add your ice, add greens, and you shake. I have yet to grab one that's not connected, but it works for me. Screw it. No! It's hot. So my ice aside at one step. Be everybody's friend and stay together. So, anyhow, there's your shaker. Basically, first thing you want to do is add your primary ingredient, which is going to be your black seal rum. That's going to be two ounces. It's going to be a high in rum. A lot of rum in this cocktail. Then you want to take your passion fruit syrup, add about half ounce of that, hence the dark passion. Add about three drops of your, I can't pronounce the name, it's Ella Macule, it's Tiki Bitters, but it's Bitter Men's Tiki Bitters, that's basically what I'm going to call it. Take about three drops of that. This is actually fairly potent, it's a lot of flavor. You'd be surprised how much three ounces is going to give you. Then you want to add your juices. I'm going to do three ounces of orange juice. And about two ounces of your cranberry. Can't have passion without red. So yeah, there you go. Cranberry. There you go. Shake and strain. One more. That's good. You're going to get a nice foam to it. Add some ice to your glass. Strain in. Last but not least, Cool de Gras, the 151. The potency is just going to add to this cocktail. You want to take about a half ounce of that. Oh, Coupe de Gras, but yeah, get the idea. So you take that and you want to layer it on top. So your first hit is going to be that 151. So it's going to be a it's going to be fairly potent right off the top, then you're going to get a nice balance of flavor at the end. And there you have it, the Dark Passion.
Gosling's rum cocktail. It's a very reddish cocktail. It's kind of, it's dark. It has passion fruit, so it's going to have a lot of different flavor to it. So it's a dark passion. I'll show you how this tastes. Wow. You definitely get a big hit of that rum if you don't mix it. Ooh, I can feel that burn. The rum is on top. I definitely suggest you really should mix this. Actually, let's do that. But it's very flavorful. You're getting a lot of different notes to it. You're getting a lot of the orange, the citrus flavors. You're getting the passion fruit. A lot of the different rum notes that you would normally get with it. The bitters actually adds a lot of flavor. And it's only three drops, but it's just enough that's going to give it some good notes. A lot of tiki style notes. So you get the sour, you get the bitter, you get the sweet, you get all that in one. It's actually really flavorful. Ah, much better. You'd be surprised that if you sit there and you put that 151 on top, and you just drink this straight out of the glass without a straw. You're getting that big hit of rum. But you're also getting a nice sweet flavor for the rest of the drink. So. But it's like. The rum does kind of overpower, if it, overpower if you had that first. Blend it in. actually makes it really good. It's a very flavorful cocktail. It's actually. This is something I ever had like three times. I made. It's definitely something I would definitely suggest you try. You'll love it. If you like passion fruit, if you like rum, if you like different tiki style drinks, you would love this cocktail. It's it's really good. I'm not even kidding. It is. It's good. You definitely should try this. Man, that is a good sweet flavor to that. And you're only using a half ounce of the passion fruit, so it's not a lot of passion fruit syrup in there. But just enough that add the flavors help bring it all together the tiki bitters it just makes it that much more phenomenal because you're getting all them notes that's a signature to a tiki drink the cranberry juice i mean you get a little bit of cranberry flavor again but you're not getting that dryness that you usually get with a cranberry but it's actually a little bit more sweetness surprisingly you're getting a lot of the orange flavor to it the dark rums play really good in this cocktail because it helps bring a lot of that molasses, a lot of them rum notes. They're very strong rum notes. But not strong in like alcohol and potency as far as the rum. But a lot of the, the flavors, the different notes, the strong molasses, the caramel flavors, the, the buttery notes. All the different notes you get that are signature to dark rums and black rums. It's definitely helped bring in a lot of the flavor to this cocktail. It's actually really that good and you definitely should try this one out let me know what you think on the on the comments below uh, visit their site if you want to find out more signature cocktails from them this actually finishes up my signature cocktails for them then next week I'm a little later in the week I'm gonna have different cocktails coming up but it's staying with the rum theme this whole week it's nothing but rum themed cocktails and a shooter I would, I would say at the end it's gonna be kind of fun because it's gonna be very potent and I hope you enjoyed this. Like us on Facebook.com slash Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. As always, drink responsibly.